Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Sunday the 1st of July 2018 and we're providing our gold and silver weekly update for the week ending the 29th of June. Gold fell $16 last week from $1,269 to $1,253, having hit a high of $1,271 and a low of $1,246. In sterling terms, gold finished the week at £948. That's down £8. And in euros, it closed at €1,072. That's down €16 on the week. Silver fell 36 cents from $16.48 to $16.12, having hit a high of $16.49 and a low of $15.93. In sterling terms, it closed at £12.21. That's down 21 pence. And in euros, it closed at 13.80 euros. That's down 0.33 euros. The gold to silver ratio rose from 77 to 1 to 77.73 to 1. The Dow Jones closed on Friday at 24,271, up 55 points on the day, but down 309 points on the week. And the Nasdaq closed at 7,510, up 6 points on the day, but down 182 points on the week. Brent crude rose $3.68 from $75.55 to $79.23. And US light crude rose $5.57 from $68.58 to $74.15. The dollar index stands at 94.47. That's down 0.05 on the week. Gold markets dipped below the psychologically important level of $1,250 last week, as we forecast some two months ago, but managed to close just a few dollars above it. We're not convinced that its slight recovery is particularly sustainable, and we should see very soon $1,250 forming a ceiling as opposed to a supporting floor. The dollar strength paid an important part in this, and although the dollar index was slightly down on the week, there were times it had risen quite impressively. It is interesting to see those technical traders who were encouraging people to buy gold at $1,300 last week are now saying that at $1,250 the market is exhausted and prices may well dip towards the $1,200 level if not lower. If it were not for the unease concerning trade sanctions, then gold would certainly be closer to 1200 than 1250 Of that we have no doubt. But believe that prices will fluctuate between these two figures over the next week or so. Silver, again as we forecast, entered into $15 territory, though to be fair only remained there a short time, and rebounded above the relatively strong floor of $16. However, now that we have seen this level breached, we think it's only a matter of days, if not a week or so, before it will be breached again, and silver move backwards to our preferred buying level of around $15.50. This week is going to be interesting, as with tomorrow being a holiday in Canada and Wednesday being Independence Day in the US, we expect markets to be thinly traded, which means prices could move either up or down with some velocity and exaggeration. So frankly, to some extent, anything can happen. We are still confident, though, that short of a political upheaval, that silver prices will head lower over the next few weeks and present an excellent buying opportunity for the physical buy and hold investors. This coming week, the Market Manufacturing PMI Index for June will be reported on Monday. Factory orders for May on Tuesday. Wednesday being a holiday. The FOMC minutes on Thursday, which will be important to observe. 
and the non-farm payroll figures for June on Friday. So we are expecting a little excitement, though not too much, towards the end of the week. We hope you have found this video interesting and informative, and if so, please give it a thumb up and share it on Twitter. Also kindly visit our website at IlluminatiSilver.com and if you haven't already done so, subscribe as a free member for regular email updates and offers. Our Facebook page, which is updated regularly, can be found at Facebook.com forward slash Illuminati Silver. Disclaimer. Illuminati Silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners.